right, here we go. So, boom. Basically, fucking just come back from a swim, mate. Like, literally. And, uh, yeah. I'm rolling a zoot. I've also got to pick up. I've got to fucking. Get some Rizzlers, mate. Like, literally. Because I've just. I'm not out, but. I don't want to fucking leave it until I'm actually out. And then, yeah. So I'm going to go to the news agents, get some Rizzlers and get some tobacco. Tobacco is well cheap here, so I don't have to think about it. Basically, I don't even have to think about it. <clears throat> also, another question has come through. Regarding uh, being on good vibes, mate. Most of these things I do answer in every single video. However, because I answer them in every single video, I will also do this video as well. <laughs> to keep up with the trend of every single video point is there isn't a way I specifically would say this is what you're doing and you'd be on good vibes for me it's a mindset it's a state of mind it's not just oh I'm on good vibes it's like it's an actual thing like, it's an actual thing like, I am on good vibes like, it's an actual thing I don't know how to uh, properly explain it, but it was pretty much doing what you enjoy. Continuing on from what I said in the uh, previous video, which hasn't been posted yet. By the time you see this, you may have seen it. So yeah, but um, doing what you enjoy. And uh, smoking up. I mean, most people don't really say that that's a thing. Because this is a thing. Some people would smoke up, but then they would see it as a negative rather than a positive. So they would see it as like something they need to stop doing and replace with something else. But for me, you should replace that with everything, literally. Because this is how I think about it, yeah. And when I talk about being on good vibes, this is how I think about it. Our ancestors originally, yeah. They didn't have to do fuck all, literally, they didn't have to do fuck all, like, originally, the human race, in fact, even with animals, everything, every living thing on earth, like, exists and coexists alongside one another in harmony, like, you don't have to do anything, it's, it's mankind that tells you, do this, do that, but to survive and to live, you don't actually have to do anything, like, naturally, they'll build shelter, they'll have a fire, they'll cook, they'll hunt, they'll clean, shit like that. But you don't actually have to do anything, like, you don't have to do anything, like, you don't have to do anything, like, yeah, it's as simple as that, like, there's an illusion of control, like, literally, there's an illusion of control around people's minds of, oh, I've got to do this, but I have to do this, but I have to do it, I can't just not do it, it's like, well, you can, like, that's the point, like, that's the point, like, you have the choice, but because we give away our power, and our choices away to the government and to corporations and to uh, adverts and to the media and we just are oh, the screen or oh, this or oh, that or oh, work 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 bills 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 fucking paying tax and all that bullshit wanting material items that we don't need like you get caught up in things that you shouldn't get caught up in and you fucking waste time so where you're trying to get all these fucking mainstream bullshit items like you can just fucking chill and smoke weed like Oh, I have to do this, I have to do that. No, you don't, mate. Do you know how many times, yeah, when I was younger, like, I'd ask people to come out and they'd be like, oh, I can't, I've got to study, I've got to study, I can't do this, I can't do that. And all the times they missed out, like, it just didn't mean shit because now they're of age, like, they're all of age. And, like, they're not even doing anything. They're not, like, the, the, the studying that they was trying to do, which was the end of the world, no, oh, I've got to do it, I've got to do it, yeah, but I have to do it, I have to do it. It's like, it just doesn't mean shit. Like, it doesn't mean shit. Like, you'd ask them about it now and it just wouldn't mean anything. Like, they'd like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, who cares? But it's just like, you can live like that every single day of just like, just don't waste time and just 
do what you want to do rather than fucking wasting time doing bullshit, thinking, oh, I have to do it, I have to do it, like, I have to do this, I have to do that. Wake up and say, what do I want to do, and then do that, like, literally. Obviously, don't fucking go out and rob banks and shit. Nothing stupid, like, but wake up and think, what do I want to do? What do I actually want to do? What's good for mankind? What do I want to be doing that's good for me? What makes me happy? What do I enjoy? Rather than just... Oh, I'm going to wake up and then I've got to go here, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, and I've got... You don't have to do anything. You can choose to do it, but you don't have to do it. Like, there's no one forcing you to do it. Like, unless you've got government orders and, like, you have people knocking down your door if you don't do it. Like, no one forces you to do something. Like, you don't actually have to do anything. Like, you could easily just sit at home and do fuck all. Like, you don't have to do anything. Like, like... And that's how our ancestors was, like, and it was only until, like, obviously people started to, like, progress, as they call it, and it's not even progression, it's deprogression, if you ask me, but it's only with technology and shit like that, then people say, oh, you've got to do this, and fucking governments and shit, fucking taking control of everyone, you have to live in a house, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this, you have to do that, and everyone just believes it, it's just a concept, it's a mere concept, like, you can either say yes, or you can say no, but it's a concept, like, it's, it's not anything. So for me, being on good vibes is just a case of, like, yeah, like, I choose to be on good vibes, because my concept of life is to be on good vibes and do fuck all, because we don't have to do anything, like, my heart is not going to stop if I fucking, I'm not doing nothing, like, it's not, I'm just going to carry on living, like, naturally we'll evolve, like, you don't have to do stuff to be, be somebody in life, the fact that you're breathing is enough, like, literally. I don't really understand how to explain it. Like, and it really angers me because, like, there's a question, like a, a famous question. It's not even famous, it's just an often frequently asked question. Not for me, but just in general. Well, I've been asked it before. And it's like, what do you do? Like, literally. Like, when I meet adults and they say to me, what do you do? And it's like, well, what do you mean, what do I do? I'm alive, is that not good enough? Like, I'm a human being and I'm living and I'm breathing. It's just like, you're told that you're not good enough. You're told that you have to do something, and if you don't do it, then you're not good enough. You're not adequate as a human being. But the fact that you're living and breathing is enough. And obviously people agree and say, yeah, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then they go back to bitching, as I say, like literally. But it's just like, it's taking that literally. And I'm quite a literal person as well. Like, I'm quite a literal person. Like, I mean what I say as I say it, rather than saying a euphemism or a phrase to describe something and exaggerate. Like, yeah. But uh, being on good vibes is is something that we can all have. It's just uh, you've got to want it. You've got to accept it. Like you've got to understand that it's a con. It's a con to just conform and just to do stuff that you're not really interested in doing, but you just do it anyway. Like. It's as simple as that. Like, that's how I see it. But not everyone has got the strength and the courage and the bollocks to, to go against the system and think, fuck it, why am I doing this? Like, they just carry on doing it anyway because everyone else is doing it. So they think, oh, well, it must be right. And even if it's wrong, then everyone else is wrong. So therefore, you can't be confronted about it because everyone else is doing the wrong thing. Which is not the right way to go about it and not the right way to think about it. <clears throat> say for me staying on good vibes is a mindset and also because i've had shitty experiences like for me good vibes is just not being in those shitty experiences so as long as i'm not fucking banged up somewhere then i'm on good vibes mate i literally because i think of good vibes as where i've come from and am i in the situations which i was in before which i said was a shit situation that i didn't want to be in i literally for me Life has progressed. Also, travel, like literally travel. Like, like I say, like for me, being on good vibes all the time, I've seen countries where, like in places where like, it's not like England and like, it's not, it's not nice and it's not like chill. It's not, like it's quite, like for me, I like it. Like, but in terms of from your way of thinking of 
like wanting like government and wanting English ways and shit like it's not it's not nice it's not just all cosy and like everyone looks after you and if someone fucking hits you you can call assault and everyone runs to your aid and fucking like everyone can just bitch and moan and oh he hurt me oh you I'm offended and all that bollocks like it's not like that like so because I've seen that I've seen both sides I've seen fucking one excel to the other so I've seen England where everyone wants to be but I've also seen the places where they're coming from and like I prefer those places because like it's just you like it's just you and you you you're, you are genuinely free like there's no one above you saying this is how you've got to live your life like if you can't figure it out for yourself then that's it and obviously that's quite bad because if you're uneducated and you don't you don't have the means to like progress yourself then it's very difficult but from my way of thinking because I've had an education and like this is a thing I say that but I haven't had an education because I'm not that clever. But in terms of where other people, where they've got literally nothing, like literally nothing, like nothing at all. Like we've all had an education, regardless if you've completed school, regardless if you've done well. Like we've all had an education. We've all got that savviness about us to, to, to be able to survive. Like even if there was no government, we still like, we still got an opinion. We can still think logically and we still know shit. Like, where there's some places that just don't know anything, because they just don't know, they just don't know, like, and it's not an insult, it's not a bad thing, they just don't know, because they just don't know. So, like, because I've seen that as well, like, I know what bad shit is, like, and when you look at England and you see people bitching in England, and like, oh, this and that and this and that, it's all bollocks, mate, because like I say, in other countries it just doesn't exist, like, it just doesn't exist. So, for me, that's why I'm on good vibes as well, because, like, I know that there's places that's just like, it's just completely just backwards, like, it's just everything is backwards, like, and for me, from a personal point of view, I enjoy that lifestyle because I'm quite like, yeah, not ruthless, but just like, very stubborn and flippant in what I do, and like, if you're doing a job, then, like, for example, the common, the common example is like, the police is the police, like, I much prefer it when the police just have the final say and that's it, like you can't mug off the police, you can't back chat the police, because they're the police, they're there to do a job, like, and that's it, like, whereas in England, like, people just fucking mug off the police, you can swear at the police, you can push the police, spit at the police, do anything you want to the police, nothing will happen to you, like, nothing will happen to you, like, yeah, you might get arrested, but nothing will actually happen to you, like, your family are going to see you again, you're not going to die, you're not going to get dragged into an alley somewhere and fucking murdered like fair enough there are police officers that kill people but nothing will actually happen to you like in realistic terms unless you're some fucking gangster and you generally have got serious beef with the police and they fucking hate you then yeah but otherwise just if you're watching this now if you used to go out into the street and fucking get into it with a police officer nothing would happen to you like nothing would happen to you and you just don't appreciate that because if you haven't experienced it where you can't when you literally can't mug off the police otherwise you'll be fucked like, you'll be fucked. Like, it's as simple as that. Like, but your version of fucked and their version of fucked are two different things because, like, yeah, because you just don't know. Like, you don't know how lucky you are. Like, you just don't know. So, like, for me, like, having some poverty, and like I say, I don't like to use those sort of words because, like, it's not poverty, it's just because we're fucking spoiled and told we need to have all this material bullshit. So therefore we think we're rich and oh, we've got this and I've got that and I've got this car and I've got that car. I've got a sports car, so I'm so much better. No, it's all bollocks, mate. The whole thing is a con, like literally. But because you're told that that's what you need and that's what you should have in order to be happy and in order to be a better person, everyone falls into the trap, mate. But like I say, having seen people that are on the other end of the scale and live very primitively and they've got to walk like 20 miles of fresh water and all that bollocks, like, there's no reason for me not to be on good vibes, mate. Like, literally, there really isn't. Like, yeah, I get depressed. Sometimes I get down. I wouldn't call it depressed. Like, I have had depression before, but I don't get depressed anymore. Like, not how I used to be. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't say I get depressed because I know what depression is. Like, and I wouldn't say I have it now. Like, I, I wouldn't use that word because it's a very strong word to use. But, like, things piss me off and I get annoyed and that. But other than that, like, I'm chilled. Like, it's on good vibes because, like... I know what it's like to not be on good vibes, properly not be on good vibes, like genuinely not be on good vibes. But in terms of how you can do it, like, I don't know, mate. Like, I really don't know. Like, I have no idea. For me, like I say, for me, like, it's just 
recollecting on my experiences and like what I've learned and like I would say well I'm not in a certain situation I'm not in like a bad situation or I'm pleased I'm not in this certain situation and like I would use this, the bad the bad situations in life to propel myself forward but yeah each person has their own challenges and their own perspectives so if like I say if you haven't experienced a certain thing then you're not going to know you're not going to understand but yeah I think travel is key because like I say there's things that would make you feel shitty but once you see that they don't exist around the world you can completely understand that it's just bollocks like it's all bullshit like it's just a concept and I'm not saying you can't buy into that concept but I'm just saying number one be aware of what you're buying into and what concepts you buy into and number two understand that they are just concepts they're not anything for you to have to survive like for example if there was no trees then we would all die because there'll be no oxygen like that's not a concept that's a fact that's what would happen whereas if there was no government we wouldn't just die because this is just a concept if there was no money we wouldn't just die because it's just a concept if there's no religion we wouldn't just die because it's just a concept if there was no time we wouldn't just die because it's just a concept like there's certain things that you need and there's certain things which are just concepts and like you can believe in a concept but believing in that concept makes you restrict your mind and makes you think a certain way and make you think oh i can't have this i can't have that i can't go here i can't do that and it's just bullshit because they're just concepts but like you have to understand and break free from that in the first place State of mind, mate. That's like, a state of mind. <clears throat> Freedom is in your mind. I haven't always thought that. I literally haven't always thought that. And this is the thing. I used to believe in. I used to believe in concepts, and I used to believe in the concept of like government and the system and like adverts and the corporation and fucking material bullshit. But then you just realise, like, you just have a realisation that it just doesn't matter. And especially as I know that there's people that don't have anything, like, they don't have anything. Like, literally. And, like, <clears throat> there's plenty that I can do, like, there's plenty of things that, in the works that's happening that I hope I can make a difference, like, and I can actually show you, me in practice, practising why I preach in physical terms in other countries. But, like, until then, like, I know that there's places where... They don't have anything. Even to this day, they don't have anything. Like, and I say they don't have anything. They have life. They have everything they need. They have life. They have food. They have water. Well, I say this, but it's limited. But they have they have genuine freedom because they live off the land and it's primitive. But like, like when you have too much stuff, like I say, I've had material stuff, like and wanted stuff. Like for example, before we get, yeah, I always used to buy trainers. Like I spent all my money on trainers. Like I was fucking trainer head. Like literally trainer head. Everything was trainers. <laughs> trainers, trainers, trainers. Every single trainer you could think of, I had. I just like trainers. I don't know why. Like I even had Facebook. Like I had Facebook on my Facebook. I'd post trainers. Like I had a whole fucking folder dedicated to trainers. And like that was it. Like I was like, oh, I've got trainers. So like I'm, I'm. I'm happy, I'm, I'm better, I'm good, uh, I've got shoes, like blah, 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 blah. But it doesn't fucking matter, who gives a fuck? Like, so what? Like, literally, so fucking what? I used to dress in colours, mate, and have fucking sport gear and fucking tops with fucking designs and logos and shit and this and that and this and that and fucking 
fucking rows of clothes, man. Now I just wear all blacks. Because you don't need... Why do I need it? I don't need fucking this and I don't need fucking that. Like, you just don't need it. There's so much stuff that you don't need. And it pollutes your mind, mate. And it stops you from being on good vibes. Because then you want more and more and more and more. And it's just never the end, mate. It's just never the end. I'm not saying you can't have nice things, but when does it end? Like, when does it end? It doesn't. It's just a con, mate. And it all generates money for the corporations and high beings above, mate. But yeah, it's just... There's certain Western concepts, mate, which are just bollocks. And certain global concepts which are just bollocks. But in the West, they're believed in more than others, like literally. Like, way more. Like... Like, don't believe the shit that you're told like as standard like just live <laughs> oh mate it, it, like if 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 everyone if everyone took control yeah but like, literally if everyone just took control of their own life like there'll be no like even if you just switch off your TV like, literally you go without like a couple days without TV or a week without television but literally and be mindful what you watch on the screen but literally just like simple things that you can do and it just changes your mind like literally changes your mindset because you're not being constantly force fed information that you don't need to know and you just don't care about like, but you're force fed it as natural and like you think oh yeah I'm going to do that I'm going to do this because You've been force fed it, it's not what you actually want to do. You've just been told that's what you've got to do. And everyone else is doing it around you, so you think, oh, that's the right thing to do. But. <sighs> Makes me feel crazy because it's so simple and so clear, but people find it so difficult.
lot though. <coughs> I do need to pick up. I keep saying that, but then I just roll another zoo because yeah, it's just CBA. I really CBA. I could go to the beach. <clears throat> oh, I need to get tobacco. Fuck. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. That's the only thing with hash. Like you have to mix it. I mean, you could. I don't know. No, I don't reckon you could. I suppose if you smoked like a really fat hash suit, that like, you just put loads of hash in, then you could probably smoke a ton of hash. But yeah. I'm going to smoke one more zoop and then I'm going to pick up <laughs> I will eventually pick up oh dear Pretty warm in here. I think it's pretty warm. Also, another little tip to be on good vibes, yeah. Appreciate what you have, like, appreciate the good things you have, like. Like, don't. Don't take for granted what you have. Like, just be thankful. And don't think, oh, I've only got this, so therefore. That's not good enough. Like, just be grateful for what you have. Like, seriously.
we'll see. There's loads of things. thankful not to be involved in anymore I literally and people there's certain people that I'm just glad that not in my life but I don't speak to or associate with but there's many things that stop you on being good on good vibes but like I say because we're told to just, oh, just do this and it doesn't matter and people make up words and phrases. I told you, it's language. It's not so much people have got a problem with this language that we use to make bullshit tolerable that we shouldn't tolerate. And you make all these different phrases to tolerate a friendship or a relationship or the way you're being treated about something. Oh well, well, it's just the way it is. Oh well, just go over it. Be the bigger person. Things like that. Fucking euphemisms to downplay bullshit. Literally. All things that can stop you being on good vibes, mate. But like I said, I acknowledge that I'm not in those situations anymore, and I've recognised it. And every time I realise that I've recognised it, it makes me on good vibes and it makes me happy and appreciate things. Because there's been plenty of times where I thought, oh, fuck, that's it. And then, once you realise, well, for me, I don't want to go back, <laughs> literally. Once you realise you don't want to go back, but some people it's completely the opposite, they realise and they want to carry on doing the same thing with me. I've, uh, my eyes are open, but I literally I have no intention of supporting a corporation or turning turncoat or fucking being a sellout, fucking whatever you want to call it mate. I literally I have no intention of fucking having friends. Going back on Facebook, like literally, I have no intention. But I've, that's it. Like, I've had my time with the corporation and fucking mainstream bollocks and just, oh yeah, this is what we do, and oh yeah. Yeah, I've been like that. I've, I've thought the same thing. I like literally, I've thought the same thing. But like I say, once you realise, you can only hide behind that. I didn't know. Yeah, like I say, once you realise something, you can only hide behind the I didn't know, I didn't know, I don't know, like, I didn't realise, I didn't realise. Like, you can only hide behind that excuse for so long. Like, once you've been told, it's up to you to educate yourself and start fucking figuring shit out. Like, literally.
Announcements, mate. Well, you see, announcements. Bullshit. Well, you see, bullshit. We're sorry for any inconvenience. Bullshit. Well, you see. Oh, mate, there's just so many, there's just so much. It's just everywhere. Bullshit is everywhere, mate. Like, literally, you've just got to spot the bullshit. Like, literally. And don't buy into the bullshit. Like, literally, don't buy into the bullshit. <clears throat> when you hear announcements, yeah, if you're waiting on public transport, whether it be bus, train, tube, whatever, whatever mode of transport you take, and you hear an announcement, mate, make a conscious effort. That's bullshit, like literally. Like literally, that's bullshit. Like, point out the bullshit, spot the bullshit. Don't just go around in a daze. And it's not negativity, mate, that's another thing. People think it's negative if you pick out things that's wrong. Like, if you say that that's not right, like people say it's negativity and they say, oh, just ignore it. Oh, be the big person. Ignoring something doesn't make something better. Like, it doesn't make it better. It just means you're part of the problem. Like, literally. Like, call out bullshit. Like, literally, call out the bullshit. I'm not asking you to go up and pick up arms and start war. It's not about war. Like, you don't have to stand up for yourself and be violent and be about war. It's just about calling out the bullshit and not accepting bullshit. If bullshit is fed to you, you don't have to eat it. Like, that's just the bottom line. That is the bottom line. <clears throat> when you're in shops and they're fucking talking over the tannoy, mate, bullshit. Like, it's bullshit. The radio, hear things on the radio, bullshit. Like, in cars now, like, I'm fucking really like, this is another thing that's completely opposite about me, like, like, I don't want to get a new car. I want to get the oldest car possible because it's just metal. I fucking hate the new cars now where everything is fucking sat-nav this and fucking sat-nav that and everyone just typing all the addresses where they're going to into a fucking box that then registered into a computer and fucking remotely sent off and then fucking sold around the world then to market you again and target you for all bullshit that you don't need. Like, literally, it's fucking... But I don't like it, mate. I wouldn't buy a new car now. But like, literally, people say, oh, I want this car, I want that car. I would not buy a new car. I wouldn't buy a brand new car. People look up to thinking, oh, I want to buy a brand new... No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. It's not metal. Like, you've got computers in there. You've got fucking GPS trackers. You've got this, you've got that. You've got voice control. You've got voice recording this, voice recording that. Like, it's just madness, mate. Bullshit, again. It's just another form of control, mate. Call out the bullshit. Don't accept the bullshit. People present stuff in your eyes, mate, but it don't mean it's good, mate. Like, literally, it's not good. Another thing that I was saying about new cars, the reason why I brought it up. Because. <clears throat> it switches on the radio at a certain time if you're driving down the road. The radio automatically comes on and gives you a traffic report. Bullshit. Things like that. Breaking news, we interrupt this broker. Anytime you hear things like that, if you hear notifications, anything that pops up, you're walking down the street and you see a headline that pops up, bullshit, mate. Don't look at it, don't read it, and make conscious efforts and tell yourself, that's bullshit. Don't pay any attention, that's bullshit. But literally, and these are how people get in your mind and you think it's not related, but it is, and that's how it affects how you interact with people, how you think, how you socialize, everything. But literally, bullshit, but literally, everything you think you know is all because of a screen. There's too many people graduating from the University of Google and the University of YouTube, babe.
That's what I like about here, there's just no bullshit. Like, literally, there's no bullshit. Like, you can walk down the street and you don't see no bullshit. Fucking screens everywhere, fucking this, fucking this, this is this, buy this, buy that, buy this. Fucking. fucking sh I literally, it just fucking irritates me. It really does, I literally. You say, oh, why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? Why can't I be happy? Oh, I can never find this, I can never find that. You have everything you need, mate. You've got life. And that's it, like literally. Like everything else is just bullshit, it's just concepts, like literally it's just concepts. When you hear, yeah, if you hear a breaking story, there's gonna be no trees, like there's gonna be no plants, like we're gonna run out of water, like shit like that, that's when you should be like. But otherwise, it's all bullshit, mate, like it's all bullshit. <coughs> down to uh, Pingo Dosio, got myself a drink. there because I need to call the dealer, I need to go to the shop, go down to the news agent and see what he's saying. Also might give myself a new grinder to be fair because there's a well sick uh, head shop <coughs> literally in the uh, shopping centre and they sell like bongs and everything, literally really nice ones. But uh, yeah. I'll just be getting the grinder. I can't get anything because I can't fit it in my bag. I've only got hand luggage, so yeah. Anyway, that is all. 
Stay blessed, stay lean, and peace.